Jank Odal moment. Due to Stephen and Cody's heroic actions, the Falling Star was destroyed. Hello there, I am Jank with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Uh, in the last part, we took on Quaza and we took on. Wait, no, that was the last last part, sorry. We, um, said goodbye to, um, Cody and all the gang and Alkazam and Charizard and Tyranitar, Tyranitar and Jump Bluff and Shiftry and Caterpie and all of them. But then I came back, which is nice. Because I wanted to stay longer. And Peace returned to the Volta Pokemon after that. Cool, oh, yeah. But that didn't, did not put an end to the natural calamities. Natural disasters still occurred, but much less often. That's good. Needless to say, Grodel's rescue activities continued as if nothing had changed. Seven mornings later, we wake up in our all good rescue mission base, rescue team base, and Cody walks in. Says, Good morning, did you w just wake up? I went to the post office earlier. The bulletin board was still covered with the rescue jobs. Even though I, it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need help. Needs to need our help, Steven. Let's keep doing our best, like always. Okay, so um, yeah, Caterpie says, Steven. <laughs> oh hi, Caterpie and Metapod. What's the matter? It's Snubble. There's something weird going on. Snubble is weird. Weird? How? He looks completely different. Steven, let's go to the square. This should be a short video. I say that in a lot. Like, watch it be 15 minutes when it's supposed to be, like take like 10 minutes at the most. I don't know. Um, hi Alkazam. Hi Alkazam. Have you seen Snubble? I heard something strange happened to him. I am. I'm Snubble. All shocked. What? You're Snubble? But you don't look anything like the way you did before. I didn't. I don't really understand either. I went into that cave there, and all of a sudden, what cave? It appeared without me noticing. Wishcast says, "See right, th right there." That looks like a man print as the hole. It's like, did the did the human from the Nine Tails legend fall in there? No, I'm just kidding. So you went in there. Yep, and I came out looking like this. Snubble underwent evolution. He evolved. Evolution evolved. I don't follow. Pokemon upon Pokemon upon satisfying certain conditions may evolve. When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, it its appearance changes. Oh wow! I'm shocked again. Uh, your own appearance that that can change. I suspect that the cave is where evolution can take place. This is merely a, a guess. Perhaps evolution could not take place before because the world's balance was askew. However, now that the star has been destroyed, the world's balance has been restored, and perhaps the ca that cave became unsealed. And I don't know if you heard that, but there's a giant, there's like a fast car run, um, driving by, making a loud noise, of course, because that's what cars do is when they drive fast. So if I evolved, I would become like a Metapod? I wish. I want to be a Butterfree quickly. Wait, well, wait a second. I don't know if I like this or not. My cute little face turned all graggy. Evolution is not a bad thing. Appearance isn't the only thing that changes, though, if, through evolution. One's power and abilities may be enhanced, for example. All shocked again? Oh, really? I, I might be stronger? That makes me want to evolve even more. I wish I could be Butterfree soon. Me too. Well, you want to be Medpod first, Caterpie. You can't go from Caterpie to Butterfree. I'll you hack the Pokemon game. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, can we evolve if we go to that cave? Yes, but it would depend on the conditions. Steven, let's go into the cave if we're ready to evolve. Uh, you have to go in the cave alone, which we'll get to later, but I just want to show off that it says that um, the entrance is too narrow. The entrance is too narrow. There's only room for one. Come again alone later. Um, you can talk to Grandpa, I guess. I might become stronger. Oh, it's exciting. Uh, I suspect that the cave is where evolution can take place. You should enter the cave if you wish to evolve. Uh, first, I have to try to evolve like Metapod. Oh, I hope I can be a body for you soon. We have to say Wishcash. That 
cave's entrance appears rather narrow, only one man at a time. It seems if you wish to enter the cave, you must come alone. Which again, we'll get to that later in this video. <laughs> so, um, we can talk to the Tyrantar and all of them in the square. We have, we have, we are here now because you succeeded. You have my thanks. Of course, we did our bit to help too. That's right, Tyrantar, you did your bit. Steve and Cody, you both hung in there. Great job. But you're still not up to our caliber. Interesting. Yeah, I guess that's true because we only. Well, I'll, I'll get the ranking in a second. We will soon be departing the area. Sincerely, thank you for all your help and kindness you get, you've given us. Steven and Cody, please do do take care. So yeah, the jump ups will leave soon, so they won't be around on the square anymore. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, when jump off travel, the world carried with whenever wherever the winds would will take us. They kind of like move in Pokemon, basically. They move with like the weather or something. Stephen and Cody, we owe so much to you. Thank you for everything. We may we meet again. And then we can talk to Shiftry. You guys are were amazing. Truly, you've impressed me. Nice. There's the Gulp and Wink shop. We can talk to him. Thanks so much. I can help with this st st shop run. With my shop running, thanks to you. Hello, welcome to the Goblin Link shop. Okay, and here's the Magnemite too. Awesome, awesome. Bzz. Thanks you, thank you. Bzz. We can talk to uh, Kangas Kong. So I'm gonna store some items. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's store this, 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 this. I found the X-ray scopes in the middle of the last dungeon. If I'd already mentioned that, but I'm uh, in the last part, but I could be wrong if I didn't already mention it or not. Um, you know, uh, I'm keeping two reviver seeds in my toolbox just for later. You'll you'll see um, later on in this video why I keep two was two reviver seeds in my box and just two. Um, you can talk to the Kekleon shop and see what they have. Oh, sorry, I skipped over your dialogue, but that's okay. Um, hunger, see, that's new. <laughs> um, Kecleon, what do you have? I mean, this is technically the last part of the walkthrough, but, um, yeah. They say, like, the brother-brother thing again. But, we'll see what you have just for the old time's sake and for the last little scope of your... I uh, yeah, both returns and orbs. Okay, cool. Um, we can deposit our money... Store all of it. Yeah, cool. Um, connected Bell Sprout if you want. Yeah. Oh, how my voice, Stephen. I can go on living again without fear. Thank you. You're welcome, Bell Sprout. Here's Golem. You fought your way to, up to a tower of clouds. I can't even imagine that. Sounds kind of wow. Are you e up? A up? <laughs> Here's um Blastoise. We were flat out you were flat out incredible. Seriously, consider teaming up with me. Gwaha. Octavia says, Oh darlings, you've outdone yourself, Steven. There's still as you look at these missions, there's still like rescue missions and stuff, so I just want to point that out. We can actually go in here. I didn't actually show this during the walkthrough guide. Well, I guess this is still the walkthrough guide, because this is part of the walkthrough guide, but yeah. We can talk to Pelper. Hello, I handle thank you mail. How, how may I say if you? You can send mail and get mail. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but it's there. You can talk to the one on the side. Um, in your, I'm your guide to what you can expect at the Pell Post Office. If you have any questions, just ask away. But, oh, it explains right here and stuff. Okay. So that's there if you need it. Um, and then the one on the left. Uh, well, hello there. This is the friend rescue counter. Uh, what can I help you with today? Receive SOS mail, leave for rescue, send an AOK -okay mail, send AOK -okay mail, delete mail, cancel, okay. We can just cancel, cancel is just to cancel all that list. We can talk to Diglett. Everything returned to peace, but Papa still hasn't come back, even though he, everyone says that he, everyone says they haven't seen them. Where did they, where did my Papa go? Oh, maybe they got left behind in the sky, and maybe the cause is having them as a meal. Oh, that's very dark of you to say to you about your parents. Yeah, uh huh. Or uh, parent. Pa is it parents? Because there's three dug tree. There's like three diglets in to make a dug trio. But does it make them a parent or a parents? Parents or parents? I guess maybe parent because dug trio is still like as one group. I don't know. 
That's that's not possible. Papa can't fly in the first place. Uh, Sai, where did Papa go? I honestly do not know where his his Papa goes, his father goes. If you talk to him before the magma magma cavern, I don't know how that works, but maybe when he'll never see his dad again, which is very sad actually. Um, I want to see if there's anything new at the Makita Dojo. Okay, is the Makita Dojo? You gotta go train. Reject the bit. Reject the train. Okay, so there's um. There's actually a lot of new places to train. There's the ghost maze. There's the team shiftry, team constructor, which I guess is um, team shiftry is shiftry in the two nuzzle, I believe. Uh, team constructor is the octavi and maybe other octavi. Uh, team constructor only showed like one party member, which is octavi. I don't know if she has like another two octavi behind her to back her up. And then team hydro, I don't again is only I only know blastoise and blastoise may have like another. Maybe have like Squirtles or War Turtles or Blastoise back him up in his team. So I think you can go face him. Um, I might do that as like a separate video, but I don't. It just depends on how I feel. I might not. I might do these just to show them off. Just the Ghost Maze, the Team Shift G. I might show all four of these in one video if I could. If it doesn't take too long. But I'm still thinking about that. But I'm thinking if you beat all of those dojos or training, st uh, training t uh, mazes or whatever, how you want to call them dungeons um you um i think you make it a statue outside your secret base outside your um your um rescue team base i just almost said secret base like it's pokemon emerald or pokemon ruby or pokemon sapphire jeez yeah this is the okay so the same thing you say the same thing yeah it's already i'm already 12 minutes in the video and yeah dang it <laughs> i thought this was gonna take 10 minutes so after that, all you can go back to um, your rescue team base. Oh, Medicham's also here. He'll be hanging out, I guess. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. That long boy, he amuses me so. Oh, long time no see. You are well. You see, I have heard about Lombre's tale. It's too funny. I have heard that Lombre almost drowned at. Okay, that's not very funny. Okay, but that Lombre, he lives in water. How? Very, very pathetic. Oh, I know. Yeah, Medicham is just being Medicham. Medicham is being nicer, but he's also still being a jerk. Um, if you want to progress in the game, just go down here to like you go on a rescue mission to take a rescue team job or whatever. Oh yeah, Steven, wait a second. There's something I wanted to talk over with you before we go to a dungeon. That fades out the screen there, and we're in front of our base. You know how we always go to dangerous dungeons together, Steven? But I think we'll be seeing all sorts of different dungeons from now on. I think some of them will be tough even for us. So I have an idea. Instead of running things all the time, we should let the team as we should let the team as a whole do it. What to do what about we change things so we can pick the leader and members to go into the dungeons? That might mean we won't be going on rescues to certain dungeons, but that will be, let us handle rescues better by having more Puck 1 types available. Do you like my, the idea, Steven? Do you think it'd be a good to be good to be able to freely choose leaders? Now, the first time I played this game, and still now, I do not like this idea. I get where you can pick your own individual Pokemon and play as your partner or something, or any of your, um, you know, your friends in the friend areas, but, uh, I like sticking together with Cody, and I didn't like this at the, my first playthrough, and I still kinda don't. I get why, um, if you could separate and choose leaders in the middle of a dungeon, you can find the stairs, if one of them finds the stairs quicker. That's cool, I guess, but I still don't like this um, idea, Cody. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to say no. Huh? What? Why? Even, even up to now, we've faced tight situations where we have had type advantage disadvantages, right? You can't say no, by the way. He'll, he'll only accept yes. <laughs> okay. Don't you think it'd be better if different types of Pokemon went in instead of us, right, Steven? You agree that I'd, it'd be better if we could freely choose team leaders and members? 
Okay, why not? Okay, if it make you happy, if it'll make you happy. Yep, that's right. I thought you would agree. You'd agree, Steven. Okay, new rule. We can now freely pick the Pokemon that are going into dungeons. I think this is how we should pick the le the leader of our t of a team going into a dungeon. In its free its in its friend area, face the team member you want as the leader, and then select mark make leader on the menu. Then that will make the Pokemon the team leader. We should do that before every dungeon. That's a tedious too. That's why I also don't like it. You have to do that every time. I get like if you're gonna join, if you're gonna ask um like Absol or Magnemite or whoever you named Absol Magnemite Ace and Electro to like join the rescue team before the mission. That's fine, but like we have to do it every time we want to switch leaders or something. It's just crazy. I don't like it. One more thing, that's just my opinion though, so sorry if you don't like my opinion. One more thing, we make we should make it so a team leader can go into a dungeon alone if it wants. Anyway, it, to choose the leader of the dungeon bound team, in a friend area use make leader. You already said that. <laughs> we should always choose the team leader in its friend area before sending the team to any dungeon. That makes sense though, I mean, uh, I just still don't like the idea. So, um, team Cody, I'm gonna make, to um be alone and to separate from your partner. If you want to go into the um the little cavern where you evolve, just uh, make sure you hit your partner and stand by, and he'll remain in he or she will remain in the friend area, and then you're alone now. So that way you can go into the um the cavern where um Snowball evolved into Granville, Gran Granville, or however you pronounce the name. Okay, we go in here. This is really cool. A voice emanates from somewhere. Ye who's we see who's who seek awakening. This is uh the luminous luminous cave. I think is what's pronounced. Luminous cave. Yeah. Do you seek a new evolution? Yeah, I want to evolve. And um, you give it give an item for evolution. You have to say yes to um you know evolve. So that's why I have two revivers in my toolbox. Cause well I, yeah, cause I want to evolve into War Turtle, baby. Let's do it. I'll give you a revive seed. Oh, I have to. I have to give you another item. Okay, I'll give you my other revive seed then. So it takes two items, I guess. Let it begin. Steven is undergoing changes. Steven's appearance changed. It has evolved from Squirtle into to War Turtle. You shall return to evolution if we if you seek. I think you can make it the way you uh. Turn, turn back into like a your first stage evolution which is kind of cool if you want to go back but i'm just showing this just to show it off so now i'm war turtle War turtle looks really cool i like the sprite for war turtle in this game so i have an empty toolbox as, as you see the item is just totally um uh cleared out or, um uh just not able to be cooked on you know so i want to take some more items and just to be sure okay so i'm gonna um power band and let's see here. Um, I want to give. I, wanna, I always make sure that the guy gets good items, just so he he. It's fair, I guess. But you don't always have to give him good items. But I'm not exactly sure now. Revive seed. And one more item, just in case. Um, let's give a max elixir, I guess. No, well. Yeah, Maxi looks so try that. Okay. So now that I have those three items, I'm gonna go back to the friend area. And yeah. Sorry, this is almost a 20 minute video now in real time. In recording time. Jeez. Okay, so let's go visit Cody. Visit. Um. Join team. I hope I did that right. I have to make him the leader in the friend area, or do I not have to make him the friend area? Make him the leader. I have to make him the f leader in the friend area. Jeez, he even told me that earlier. I wasn't listening that well, apparently. Make leader. Yeah. So now I'm alone with Cody. And. Cody. Oh, also, one thing I should mention is that um, 
you have to be um like for example you know War Turtle and uh, Squirtle evolves Squirtle and Charmander evolve um into uh Charmeleon uh Squirtle evolves into War Turtle at level 16 and then Charmander evolves into the Charmeleon at level 16 and both Cody and Steven um the Charmander and the Squirtle of course are both over six uh, level 16 so they definitely be able to vote be um Oh man, okay, I have to make Steven stand by even though Steve, myself isn't even, you know, um, you know, showing up. I mean, jeez. Team, okay, I'm gonna make Steven stand by. There we go. Okay, cool. Now it's just Cody for real. But, um, also, Cody and I are not even level 30, I believe, so, and Trimalian and Evolves into Charizard at level 36, and War Turtle Evolves into Blastoise at level 36. So make sure you have the right level, just like in the other Pokemon games, or you can't evolve. The guy will say, um, you can't evolve, or the person in this cave who's talking to you says, oh, you can't evolve because you haven't met the level requirements. And later on, Metapod's going to be disappointed because he he tried going in the cave, but it would couldn't evolve into Butterfree because it's not his level, because uh, he's not at level 10. Uh, and Co and Caterpie was like, oh, Metapod, don't get so glum, and um, maybe it's just your level, and he's like, oh yeah, it's my level. I have to be level 10 to evolve into Butterfree, so that applies here in this Pokemon game too, so keep that in mind. I just want to make that clear, hopefully that was clear enough. So yeah, here's a, a uh, Luminous Cave again, evolve, uh, yes, let's give him a Max Elixir. Yes, and a Revive Seed. Nice. Cody is undergoing changes. Cody's appearance changed. It evolved from Charmander into Charmeleon. It shall uh, return if evolution is what we seek. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm a Charmeleon. That's pretty cool. And let me do um one more thing. Just visit Steven, of course, visit myself. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to go to the left. Where am I? Where is the War Turtle? Okay, there you go. This is a cool vest friend area, actually. It looks really cool. Uh, join team. Make leader. Yeah, there we go. And as you see, Cody's still with me. But yeah, um, other than that, I think that covers it all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough guide, as I said before. So thank you, everyone, who watched... My Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team walkthrough guide. I see you guys in the next project of mine, and it's gonna be another Pokemon game. So, guess, guess, guess. You can guess all you want.